Hey guys, how you doing? This week's intuitive reading. Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Thanks for tuning in and I'm just going to do a, a reading for this week, just a short little reading for the energies. Um, so from last week, I did a tarot reading and it was saying, you know, there's some opportunities coming in. Um, and if you haven't seen that video, check it out. I'll post it at the end. Um, and so I know for myself uh, that uh, came out as true. Um, so some possibilities, opportunities, um, different ways of seeing things and a lot of information for me, um, you know, with my um, spiritual connection, a lot of downloads information that I've been trying to write with automatic writing, getting it all down so I can put them in the books um, and share them on the YouTube. But um, so with that, I'm just going to, and then I did a little bit of channeling because I came into this energy of, you know, we're coming, there's like this in the middle of the week, I think it was like Wednesday, some, there was an energy that came in that I felt like, you know, a lot of people who are searching for like jobs and careers are really no longer have any interest in doing what's out there anymore. They're looking for more um, authentic uh, stuff to do, like their sole purpose. They, they need more meaning in their careers and their jobs instead of just doing it because it's almost like just going through the motions just to make money to survive and people are looking there's an energy out there where people are looking for more um authenticity in their lives and more meaning and doing things that mean more and they're getting tired of the way that things are because that's the way that our structure has been created you know you have to work to live and survive when um, that is just a result of, you know, what has been in the past that's created this system. And so for it to stay alive, we have to keep continuing in it, right? But it no longer is satisfying uh, the person or the soul uh, for who they are as a being as we're going into the new, new age of the awareness and the consciousness that we're transitioning into. And some people might want to call it the 5D reality realm instead of the 3D but more being truthful and authentic um, to themselves and who they are. And that means finding your soul purpose, right? And so I've been kind of doing some videos on that. And the best way to do that is just to sit and meditate and get away from everybody else telling you and showing you what you need to do and let the guidance come to you, right? But you have to step away from everybody and all this noise and chatter to do that, right? Find your sacred space. Tune in and meditate. And um, I'm just going to do a little reading on that. So um, let's see. I know I put it here. So it says, um, we had an overwhelming energy coming in from the collective uh, that we're at a time in evolution that we are uh, wanting something more out of life and we are tired of everything, which I just got done saying because that's what I felt, um, of everything going on and we want more authentic and meaningful things in our lives, right? And so the energy is arising in the new moon that is going to be coming up here in next month because we've already passed one for this month. Um, so we're ahead of our time, you know, getting prepared and ready for that energy to come in for ourselves, right? And so it's being aware of the energies and vibrations that are coming in for us at that time so we can prepare and make way for that energy to come to us, right? And so allowing ourselves to be open in alignment with it, right, so we can receive. And so the energy is arising in the new moon coming up here into the fourth house, which, again, I don't really know a lot about astrology. These just come through my channelings. Um, so if it makes sense to you, then you know, and I'm learning as I'm going because they're giving me the information. So I'm being taught by source uh, the information that I'm, I'm bringing through here. So where we take a look at what we want out of life and make more serious changes to our life and choices with what really matters to us in the end of, to us into the end of June and early July. So this is going to be an energy that's going to be going on from this coming new moon all the way to June and early July of this year, so throughout the summer. 
taking a look at our lives, right? And start weeding out what we no longer want that has no true value or meaning to our lives or is not authentic value to us in our lives. You know, not only in our personal lives, but in the world outside of us, right? Because we have to be the change in the world, right? And so what are we seeking that we want, we need to be, right? And so it's a true mirror facing north. So it's, it's like a reflection. And so it is time to get real with ourselves, right? Not going through the motions just because we have to, you know, be sincere with yourselves, allowing your divine connection to be happy with who you are and what you do and what you, because we all have a sole purpose, right? And so trying to find and dig through all the muck of the world to bring forth our divine purpose, right? Whether you're a speaker, a teacher, um, a person who just holds the vibration of love or a person who um, channels information or writes or does arts, whatever it is that you do, or maybe you're an uh, animal, right? So alignment with animals, helping them or, you know, creating a safe haven for them, whatever it is that your sole purpose is, is here to do, we all have a divine purpose, right? Um, and when we are not in align with that, you know, we kind of don't feel happy with what we're doing. We just kind of feel like empty. And we're just doing it because we have to, right, to survive because that's what we do, right? <laughs> but that's not what we have to do. It doesn't have to be that way. Um, we just make it that way because that's what we've been taught, right, society. Right, so we have to go beyond this false illusion in order to change the world. Is We have to change it to where we can... Um, manipulate the energies and find who we are and bring that out. And so we're in the world doing what we're doing, not what we're doing because we're not in our alignment with who we are. And so when we're just working for somebody, um, just because we have to survive, it's because we're not in alignment with our true self. So we have our, I put it this way, the plan A and the plan B, and that's how they give it to me, right? You have your plan A, which is direct source alignment. Anything else that's not that is plan B. <laughs> it's your backup system. Right. So you always have backup systems. If it's not this one, it's not this one, it's not this one. And the further away you get from your plan A, the further away you get from source, your divine connection. So the further away you feel empty within yourself. And so bringing yourself back to the divine plan A is what you want to do. And so you feel worthy, you feel valued, you feel, and I did a video on that, you know, not feeling valued at work. This um, session that I had, you know, this was the situation. I did a video on that explaining a little bit more about that, so check that out. Um, but finding our true purpose and our value and who we are is being in line with source and bringing that forward, right? And so um, speak and act our truth. So you may be the one having to act in faith of love and truth, or you may be the one on the other end of the stick. So either way, which is when brings to you your truth to look at it. So when we're finding our truth, our authentic selves, we have to make changes, right? And sometimes it may be ending relationships that don't serve us or bring us value and looking at those things, right? And so we either may either be the one breaking up with someone or changing jobs or quitting our jobs because we need to get on our authentic path or we're going to be on the receiving end. And so how are you going to respond and act, right? And so we want to look at that because if you're in alignments, with someone who's not in alignment with you, why are you in alignment with them, right? And so we all have to look at our stuff, right? And so this is going to be the energies coming here for, for this uh, next moon into the summer. And a lot of change are going to be coming up because our souls are going to be like, this. we need to find more authentic stuff, value, truth, love, right? Consciousness. Uh, waking up from the unconscious states and the programming that we've been through um, that's gotten us to this point where everything is coming up to show us, right? And so that's part of the reason why all this is happening for us to get a good look at what we've been creating and working on because what has been is this silent structure has been set up and set in purpose and it's like a seed. Um, and I did a video on if you don't want it, don't participate in it, right? And so that kind of leads into that but what's been created of society has been a seed that's been planted and it's just evolved from there. And we've just been living off of that, uh, feeding it, right? Putting energy to it when we really don't want it, right? So why would you even participate in something you don't want? 
And that's the way it is going to be continuing until, you know, we start making changes. We make changes to every area and aspect of our lives, like our relationships, our careers, you know, how we treat others, um, what we value, what we don't value, how we're being in the world, how we're showing up, how we're creating and what we're creating. Um, does it benefit just myself or all, right? Is it for a good reason? And um, does it serve the populace, right? And so how are we being that's going to be the change in the world? And so we've all heard that saying, you know, be the change in the world that you want to see in the world, right? And so that is putting it into action and place. And that's where it's coming into. We're going to be, you know, looking at these things coming up so we can see it in, in our personal lives and our um, macro level on the outside world. And so we don't have to fall in line and in suit of other people. We can create something else. Like if we're um, having, you know, where we understand that the concept that religion actually doesn't exist, it's just something that's been created and it's been set forth into action and it's just being replayed out because people are, are participating in it, which is recreating it over and over again, like a cycle. If we understand the way the concepts are and how it actually works in the universe, whatever you plant the seed, um, it becomes and is recreated. And the more momentum it gains, the more gathering comes, right? It, it brings and attracts more people um, or energy, vibration, whatever that is that creates it, right? And so when we stop acting and participating in these things, then we can change it. And so everything that's going on now is just a result of uh, what's been planted the seeds and it's just a current influx of what's continuing to be created that we're seeing of out in the world and so if we want to change it we have to take a look at it right and so that's the only way we're going to see it because we don't know to change it and need and know that anything needs to be changed if we don't look at it so a lot of it is what's coming up now in the world and how we change it and how we want to be and act in response into that um, energy and vibration instead of adding to it so when we don't add to it what we do is it collapses and then we don't continue to recreate and we create something new from it so for instance you know a lot of things lack from our school education you know like we don't teach children on how to deal with their emotions right we don't teach children um, about manifesting and creating and we don't teach children a lot of different things, not just at school, but in home. And, and a lot of a lot of times we have those problems, you know, uh, we don't integrate all that's there. We just want to teach them math, English, blah, 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 right? And so a lot of times these things get overlooked because one thinks one is handling and one is dealing with it. And this, it's not connected, right? We need, um, whether it's in the school systems or at home to start creating certain things that it's lacking, right? And so it helps us to understand at a young level, you know, what our emotions are, how our brain thinks, you know, we don't teach psychology to our children. We don't teach things like that, which need to be integrated. So these are a lot of things that can change. It doesn't have to be status quo as it is. It's a base point, if you will. Um, that you can build on and change it and add and take out other things that aren't working, right? So using it like a mold or clay and manipulate it and change it to make it better, right? It doesn't have to be the way it is and then not have change in energy and vibration, right? And it, that's why a lot of this is about, you know, accepting who we are is coming up in the school systems, you know, accepting who we are regardless of our gender and things like that, you know, we're seeing a lot of this come up so we can take a look at it and change it, you know, it's for the better, it's for the good. And so what we want to understand is that it's going to happen um, regardless, you know, if we're doing it by choice and by free will, making changes in the world or it comes by kind of like, I don't want to say force, but the universe will bring it to you. So you have to look at it, which is kind of by force, but um, it's out of love because there's um, change that needs to be happening. And if we're not doing it, we're not motivated, then it's going to motivate you. And whatever that is, is going to be the action of it, right? And the recreation of it that you're going to experience in order to awaken you to it, <laughs> you're not doing. So that's why a lot of things are coming up. And a lot of this is just going to keep continuing to happen until we start changing, evolving it, and moving more towards love because we have to evolve in that way. That's the way it's been set up by the universe, by source, um, our own divine creation, that we all moves in the 
energy and vibration of love. We move in that direction, right? And so that's the purpose of our living our lives here in this experience. It's not to keep recreating suffering, but we make it that way because we don't understand how it really is, how the universe has been creating, why it's been set up that way, which is to create more love, not to create suffering, right? But in our ignorance, um, the separation, thinking who we are as human concept, which has been created, is set up as a timeline for us to evolve through this. Um, you know, we've come away from that and understanding it. And so a lot of us are having the near-death experiences where a lot of us are having the awakenings. A lot of us are having those experiences to remind us and to bring us back into the space of love, right? And so... Um, take a look at it, you know, it's scaring us away from the religion, the false teaching, things like that, so we can start recreating and getting back on the path uh, where we need. It's to bring in, uh, bringing us back into our true selves and our realization, which is part of what we're going through now, right? And so this whole great awakening that we're having the experiences, so bringing us, the <laughs> source and the universe is trying to bring us back on the path. So just look at it that way, right? So still go through your daily stuff but just know it's all for the good right just keep reminding yourself of that and we're going to get through it anyway um and so this upcoming summer um, it will bring a lot of truth for many um, so many are still going to be awakening um, who are not living in alignment to authenticity and simply may just not be sure of what that is or what that means and so they'll have the awakening understand it from that perspective because a lot of times we don't realize what we don't look at our lives. We're too busy doing stuff and we don't take the time out to look at it. What is, what does this all mean? Who am I? Where, why am I here? Um, what am I working on? Because when we come in, we're, it's all wiped away from us. Right. And so when we come in, do we remember before? No, we don't. Unless we come in with the awakened eyes, right? Because if we come in with the awakened eyes then we have a purpose, you know, from a younger age. But if we don't, it becomes later that we it becomes known. And so as we are evolving, um, when it's in divine timing, you awaken, right? And to have the experiences, but as we're evolving through our lives in this timeline, um, you know, we may not have the true understanding of what is authentic or what that means or what is really going on here and how we're seeing things. And so we may not know or choose to seek the value in our lives, what we think is value is outside of ourselves, ourselves, you know, owning a big house, owning cars, owning, <laughs> you know, um, luxury items, which is fine and nothing wrong with that. But is it really the value that you're seeking? You're trying to find the value in things outside of yourself to fill yourself when it's only temporary, right? And Buddhists talk about that. It's, it's the temporary <laughs> existence of, um, feeling you know value right it's the value that we put on things is the value that we put on ourselves um, and so if we're really looking authentically you know we look at the value within ourselves who we are what we have to bring to the world not outside in and make that change right and so what is the value in your lives as we move forward in time if people are uprising um, as they are getting more tired of what is happening around them in the macro and the micro levels, what's going on in your life and what's going on in the world, right? And so as we're seeing all these um, things evolve, you know, uh, like the sex trafficking, the migrants, um, different things like that that's going on, <clears throat> the wars, um, you know, it helps us to take out, look at what's more authentic. What is it that we want in the world? And when we have that, we're actually planting seeds, right? And so when we can look at these things and be like, I don't want this. I don't want this for my future. I don't want this. And we're actually planting new seeds in evolution of itself, which is a replacement of what's going to happen as we are moving forward because it helps to shift the consciousness of it, right? And so instead of taking sides, and I've talked about this on other videos, instead of taking sides, you know, do you want this in the world for your children, for our future being, for our evolution, or do we want love, right? And so choosing either love or what's going on, if you're going to choose and take sides, then you're choosing the wars to continue. If you're choosing, I don't want this, then you're choosing, 
a new seed to be planted, which is love, right? And it's choosing what you want to see in the world um, that helps plant the seeds because as a micro level, um, it's individual, but on a macro level, because we're part of it, it helps evolve it more from different consciousness and we're all connected. So all the energy is going to one and it helps to recreate the energy and vibration, even if it's a micro fraction, which we are on an individual level, we're adding to it, you know, what we want. Right. And so we all are important. We all have a piece of the puzzle <laughs> that we're creating from. Um, and that's by what we're seeing in the world, right? And that's just been what's been created. So it's just the revolving of it from that consciousness, which is still going on and happening. People are playing out these roles unconsciously in that play, you know, even though they're making the conscious decision to be a part of it, it's an unconscious role that's been just keep creating, evolving, if that makes sense, right? And so when we're tired of what's happening around them in the macro and micro levels of expansion, and so they give a good look at it and experience more love in their lives simply by making the choice to be a part of it, because that is what is keeping it alive. And it's in, it is all about in our houses that's coming up, right? And so um, I had mentioned, I think it was here, the fourth house, which is all about, you know, um, like our, our family, taking a closer look at what we want in our lives, right? And so as we're doing that, we're also creating a part of it because we have our own world upon world upon world. And so when we create from our own world and we look at it like a screen, and we step back from it and we use that as like our clay to the play, right? And manipulate it from that point of view, um, we're changing our world. And so that changes the world outside, right? It adds to it. Right. And so it's a world upon worlds. Right. And so it's a part in the play. Um, but what you're creating from your own individual world, you know, and this, the book goes into that, you know, it's been given to you to create of your own world. Right. And so a lot of people in the past through ignorance thought, you know, um, I'm, I've been given the world to create, which is like taking over or conquering others, you know, for the world, because, um, I don't know, Moses got this message or whatever, you know, a long time they put this in that perspective, you know. Um, I was told that I was going to have this, this, and this, and so they took it literally and, you know, creating, conquering other civilizations, things like that. No, your own little world, right, in your own little bubble, <laughs> not the conquering of others, right? So unconscious, you know, ignorance <laughs> um, of the past from the human self. Right, as it's evolved into where we are now. And so you can see even from there, that point, you know, we've evolved a long time, you know, not to say that all that, those stories are true, um, but just to give as reference, right? So, um, and so they give a good look at it and experience more love in their lives simply by making the choices because that is what it is all about in our houses, right? And so our houses that govern the world, um, which is the creating from as it comes into evolution, and so seeing it from the soul perspective, we allow ourselves to be part of the creation in the way that it is meant to be, not how we're wanting to create it for ourselves as part of it, not separate, right? And so bringing it all back to love and joy, which is the fifth house, right? And so what we're creating from. And so <clears throat> the fourth house is about like our careers, um, what we're creating, you know, our relationships, things like that. And so we'll be going through that energy you know, up until I mentioned July. Um, and then the fifth house and keeps you to find the way through creative adventures, right? Manifesting happiness, bliss. Um, and so they work together this year to bring you more of what you have already, even if you don't want it or what you are wanting to change <laughs> um, into something else on all different levels of our existence, right? And so these are the tides. So we're going to be going through some ups and downs, you know, with certain situations. You're going to see that coming up. Maybe you'll see it from other people's perspective, you know, a lot of change in their lives and our lives um, individually or as a whole. Um, and that is what they're saying is the lion and the tiger come together, right? And so um, from what I'm getting is like, lion, you know, there's no lion and tiger in astrology, but... Is symbology of their two energies, the, like a masculine and feminine, 
um, is what they were kind of showing you. But they, when I channeled it, it came in as like the lion and tiger um, exist and coexist together because usually they don't, but they used to a long time ago, right? Um, lions and tigers used to coexist together, but they've become separate. But it's representative of the male and the female coming together to create, right, more of what we want or we don't want. And so um, with the lion and tiger existing together beyond the gates in harmony with one another, um, and so find peace and love, and we will see you later. <laughs> and so that was the end of the channeling um, there uh, from bringing that information in. Um, and so just to continue this week, um, I pulled a few cards to see what's going to be going on this week. And the first one I got is the Hierophant. And so with the Hierophant, um, we're basically what this is saying. I, I'm actually, when I look at this card, it's showing both of this, their hands are up and it's like, okay, time to stop, time to look at what's going on in your love, in your area, what your, what your life is. Um, what are the teachings? What are your social structures? What are your belief systems? and the teachings, right? And so you have your students here, right? And so um, take a look at your belief systems and what you've been taught and what you, which has been created of the past. And the hands up represents to me is like, stop. It's time to stop and think, right? And so the crown to me looks like enlightenment um, when I look at this card. And so it's like, okay, ideas, consciousness, right? Um, guidance, you know, coming in uh, to help with these information, these channels, these changes coming in here as we're going through this week. And so there is going to be help and guidance, you know, to make these changes in life and to go in the right direction, right? And so if we're looking at it from last week's reading, you know, all these new opportunities coming in, you know, it's now time to take a look at it. And is it something that you're wanting? Is it alignment with you and with your truth, you know, and also goes with the reading and channeling that I did. Um, kind of all comes together, you know, depending on what that is for you, right? So, um, but this card is, you know, about, you know, taking the time to sit and think and look and what's really meaning, meaningful to you, your authentic self, your true self. Um, are you living in alignment? Are you not? But this is about a card where this is going to come in and help you, whether you have somebody who's going to speak truth for you, stand up for you, bring information in for you, bring in the knowledge and wisdom for you and to help you along the way. So you're going to be guided, right? And so that goes to the next card, right? And so this is about caring and loving um, and the gift that's being given to you, right? And so you're being brought different gifts, different choices. A lot of them are coming in at this time. This was a card that came up last week. And so this energy is still in the vibration energy, um, the gift of caring, loving, kindness, right? And so are you accepting it? And which one are you going to choose? Because there's a lot of options here in the cups, right? And so um, this would be you and then the one bringing in the information or the opportunity for you um, coming this next week. So this is just for the week. And then again, this is a card <laughs> that was from last week as well. Um, and so that's going to help guide you through, right? And just remind yourself to come back to um, the caring, loving energy and vibration of this card, right? And so remind yourself that you're always guided and it'll get you through whether it's the rough waters or sailing through, right? And so it's to help you to get over here from here, but just keep going. And sometimes we may just want to be like, I don't want to look and see, just guide me. And regardless of the energy, you know, what's happening, you know, sometimes, you know, we might have all these negative thoughts, which want to, keep our head down, you know, and we don't want to see what's going on as, and we kind of just blank out or we go into a different reality and we just, it's kind of like just going into the energy and be like, okay, just get me through it, you know, and not have any of your thoughts because like when we can um, just do that and without thinking about it, you know, and just do, and I've myself have done that um, where it's just, okay, let's just do it and not think about it, right? And so I've gone and powered through some of my life situations like that, you know, because I need, knew I needed to do it to get through it without really thinking about it. Because when the thoughts come in, right, which are these, 
the mental realm, it may deter us or keep us from doing it. And so it's kind of putting the blinders on and which is why you kind of see them sitting there like this, you know, uh, with their head down, or it can be, you know, rough waters coming in. And it's just like, just put your head down and let me guide you, right? Take your mind out of the picture, right? And allow yourself to be guided, you know, by this guy here, um, which is this person, right? The higher hierarchy, allowing that energy to come in and guide you through it. But either way, however you're going to do it, you know, it's going to evolve this week and just allow yourself to um, just be true and authentic to yourself because those are the energies that we're going to be going into uh, not only just this week, but uh, forthcoming, um, which is the channeling of the energy and vibrations that I had received in this week, um, which is part of all the information that I received. Um, but I'll be channeling and uh, receiving more information and putting out more videos on the other topics that I've um, got information on. And it's a lot of interesting things because like sometimes I'll come into... Um, certain situations in life and so once I um, have the experience you know I'll get the channeling in of the information to help me to understand that from a different perspective so um, sometimes my lessons are just for the understanding of it right which basically all is and so all of our, our lessons are basically for the understanding and knowing and knowledge and wisdom um, which is why we came here right and so um, that kind of wraps up this little video here, and thanks for again for tuning in, and um, stay tuned for more videos.